problems then say some. Chopper come out of the box like a motherfucking ray gun. Think you a beast, but you ain't one. You are not on the same page as a kid, you just page one. They had no luck, I had to make some. When I get rich, cop a Tesla on day one. What color Tesla I want? The red one. What kind of red he want? The Shanks one. My niggas know I got drive. Gripping that wheel. I swear, nigga got callus. My team ain't losing, don't know why you challenging. Chopper go. Like All right, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, we are back for some more Cowboy Bebop. Last time we watched session 14, technically, because I couldn't put up 15 because I messed up the recording on 15. Look, this has happened to me a few times, I would say. Well, yeah, a few times. It's happened a couple times in One Piece, um, and it, it, it sucks because I'm just like. I finish recording and I go to check the raw footage and I'm just like, where is my footage? Where is my camera? Where, where is the recording? And you know, sometimes OBS mess, messes it up. I don't know why. Um, it's a great program, but I don't know. It just it doesn't like working sometimes. Um, I made sure I'm actually recording this time around, but uh, for episode 15, I was going to do a whole binge for Cowboy Bebop and um, I... I recorded 15, it was all good, and then I go back to check and it's not there, and I'm just like, oh, shit, do I, I don't even feel like recording now because I messed it all up. Um, but we're here at episode 16 anyway. I'm going to go through um, what I thought of uh, session 15. Um, I don't know if there's something with calling a session or episodes or whatever, but um, session 15 was a very good session, very good episode. A uh, Fey backstory. Um, which, is, which is welcomed, you know, we got a, we got like hints of backstory on Spike, we definitely got a Jet backstory, or at least, um, his, you know, the relationship he had in the past, um, and not really much on Ed, but <laughs> Ed is an enigma, so it, it's fine, <laughs> he, he's chilling, so it's cool, um, but with Faye, uh, we never really got anything on her, um, we sort of just met up with her, you know, in, in that whole gambling trip, back. it was like session two, maybe? Um, and it, it was a pretty good story. I liked it. Uh, confusing. Um, but I think of the characters that we know anything about, hers is the most interesting so far. Um, so her life predates, I think, any of the current crew. Um, and, uh, any, anybody that we have on the, uh, Bebop, essentially. Um, and it's like, I, I forget exactly how, it was a long time ago um and she she was essentially you know a person just like you know living a regular life um my theory is that she had some type of you know rich upbringing or something like that um because she was hit by a she was hit by a vehicle and she was sent in to be uh um you know treated and uh for some reason she was chosen to be uh cryogenically frozen because um you know they didn't have the you know means to help her out at that time she's like maybe we can help her out in the future so freeze her so i'm just like you know for a family to have resources like that or the ability to purchase resources like that i would think that she you know have to be for a rich family or something like that um but she's going to go into the future and uh, i'm going to fast forward through it a little bit um she uh, falls in love with the person that uh, is helping her you know she's treated in the hospital and this advanced hospital she doesn't know what's going on uh she tries to find out about her past and all that stuff with this person but then that person essentially dies um she runs away and then she goes to this whole life of crime she meets up with spike and jet and all of them fast forward a couple uh, a couple years and then blah 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 she finds the person again that she thought had died or she had fallen in love with and now she's mad and then she wants to ask him questions about her past and he's like i don't know nothing about your past um and then blah 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 doctor did backstabbing he actually dies this time and um good episode <laughs> good episode but now we are watching session 16 if you guys would like to watch full reaction links are always in the description it takes you over to my website which will take you over to streamable and onedrive but without any further ado let us get into session 16. All right, who got their ass beat? Who's this? What's happening? Why this happen? How'd this happen? Jesus. Hell 
yeah, black man. <laughs> Beat everybody's ass. What's good? Dom Perignon. Oh my god. He spilled that shit right in front of him. And he ain't gonna do nothing about that. <laughs> oh, he spilled into his mouth. Yeah, do something about that. I spill <laughs> I spill your drink in front of you. You see the bodies I caught there around you. You ain't gonna do nothing about it. Session 16. What does that say? Dog serenade? It fell off, oh my God. <laughs> hey, look, if you want to shower so bad, you fix it. Damn. You hang up my phone like that. I... to her he said you don't know what's up that arm looks cool too keep it <laughs> looking like the winter soldier know how to fly a ship <laughs> who is that someone take that gun from him yeah walk up talk to this fool real quick so you adding stupid on a high stakes miss mission you can't oh, oh my god on that ninja shit all right Just did. Ooh, the syndicate. Give me like a few chess pieces here on some stuff that connects. I need more, man. I need more. You definitely heard of the syndicate.
Jet was in the police force, huh? I just noticed how weird Jet's facial hair looks. <laughs> So maybe he caused it. His facial hair is so close. It's like <laughs> the under part of his eye like goes all the way over here. <laughs> all right. Flashback. Flashbacks might be the best part of this show. Like me a good origin. What did that man do to you? Oh, we're looking at old school jet. I love the look of this. Man, look at Jay, he was clean, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm here for this. It's gonna be another jet episode. That man looks at you and is not afraid of a gun. You, you. <laughs> that is not a good thing. They should. They blast the hell out of his arm. Oh my god. Kill them all and <laughs> just get me on the ship. Well, how convenient <laughs> they have someone that can operate the ship. He's like, no. <laughs> Hold on, Ed got bars. Keep rapping. Hold on. <laughs> that was spitting right there. This man Jet said, if I don't come back, <laughs> water the bonsai tree. <laughs> That's all he's worried about. <laughs> Like the good old times, huh? Jet, you can't peer pressure a man into smoking when he's trying to quit. That's messed up. <laughs> that worked somewhat. Hey, man. <laughs> Best defense is a good offense. Man, that was just the middle. That was just the middle. We only halfway into it. We already shooting shots. That's some pretty good offense, <laughs> I must say. All right, Jet, what's the game plan?
much does rocket fuel cost? Oh. Oh my god. Alright, you might overwater them, Ed. Chill out. It's kind of fucked up. Ed already assumed Jed's dead. I'm just doing what he told me. Syndicate dropped him, huh? They said, we don't fuck with you no more, buddy. <laughs> you was on the inside. That's a real savage when he wants to be, bro. <laughs> Fuck the signal. He said, my name is Jet. That's exactly what I'm about to do. Peace out. He is getting revenge. Yeah, keep shooting your shots, bro. Keep shooting your shots. You don't know who you fucking with. Oh, the music. Hold up. This some uh this is some Teen Titans sounding music. <laughs> oh you're close enough, just get in there. There you go, grappling hook. Oh I want to back up, buddy. Oh, he got in there and good shit. Yeah, a little escape pod, too. <laughs> that thing's pretty clutch. Grappling hook, escape pod. Oh my god, he's walking up like a demon. Oh my lord. Look how he pulled up. Yeah, he said, What's up? Take a look at who it is. <laughs> He's about to be like an old friend. <laughs> Ooh. Rematch. He said, I'm taking the arm you took from me, buddy. Let's go. He's about to die. You went, in, you went through the wrong door, bro. There's that. Immediate. How'd you miss that, bro? He was standing still. Alright, Jet. This is where you get that Hitman energy going. That max pain, bullet time. Oh my god, he was up top.
Okay, that's bro, he told him. <laughs> you still think you're a shooter with that old ass gun. Oh, Jake and his ass beat. Jeez, oh my god. So the syndicate has some monsters. No way you missed. Oh, the arm, yup. <laughs> I was about to say if you missed that. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Not the leg. What? The triple cross? Dirty cop? Yo, boy was a dirty cop? Get rid of you. Wow. So you just snitching. <laughs> Just snitching on bro. And he missed. Maybe he shot his arm on purpose. Oh, he shot that guy. Okay. Don't listen to him. He was stupid. He was lying. Oh. Dirty cops, huh? Oh. I like this, bro. I like this. Now this one's fire. Only had one bullet, bro. Who are you lying to? Trash. Oh, wait. I thought he only had one. Unless Jet shot him. His jet shot him. So the syndicate's ties run deep. Not only do they have hired killers that they can just drop, but they also got cops on the payroll. Hmm. This was a good episode. I like this one. Quick little double cross. Mm, he's gonna help him out. Good man, Jet. Good man. This is why Jet's my bro. Without a doubt. Jet is my homie. Nothing will ever, you know, Jet damn near my favorite.
<laughs> I don't know. It's tough to choose between Spike and Jet. Um, because no one is in. The, you know, originally I would think you know Spike is the main character of the series, but I don't know. No one is really treated like a main character or a side character. Like, I just feel like the the, the adventure is the story. It's not about a singular character, which I like. Everyone has their own little moments, their own episodes, their own little adventures. Um, and they're just living together and <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's the point of it. Like it, when starting this series, I would think this guy is the main character. I would think it's all about Spike, but nah, um, everyone, everyone has some good development about them. Everyone has, uh, everyone has a lot of good moments and, um, the, you know, the show wasn't called Spike. It, it isn't called Jet. It's called Cowboy Bebop. It's about, it's about this space adventure. And I really like that. I like that. It's sort of neutral on everybody um and it's it's a good uh, what's it called a lot of the animation styles like it's one style but like just just the vibe that they go for throughout like the episode it changes you know what i mean every episode is a slow build up introducing who the man is going to be every every episode feels like a movie almost like a short little movie um and uh it's it's a it, it's almost an, an uh, what's the word anthology um it's almost an anthology but not really because you know the story has some connective tissue between the ep uh, all the episodes but um it's not really following a central plot line it's just you know some things connect here and there and you know we follow the same characters for the most part uh, but yeah i always love me some jet backstory the um one jet backstory we got with the, his uh romantic interest way back when um and now this one this one's a bit more of a uh, uh like a sort of a film noir cop sort of uh, story a uh, cop drama detective drama sort of thing which i like um and this is what i'm talking about like this sort of aesthetic that they went for for the um for the flashback it does feel like a sort of uh old school cop movie almost and that would look really cool you know jet was dripped out <laughs> back in the day jet jet was really dripped out i like this fit um he completely switched it up bro and going over into bounty hunting he, he looks like a completely different person but um good episode good episode um hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode just as much as i did and i hope to see you all in the next one Peace.